Hi there, today we are going to talk about how you can use this banner up here on your Google Classroom page as kind of a bulletin board where you can put uh, reminders and alerts like you can see here I've got a couple on the left. I'm going to show you how I did that using Google Drawings. So I'm going to go back to my drive. From here I'm going to click New, hover over More and go to Google Drawings. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and give it a name, just so I don't forget. Alright, and from there we do need to change our size, our page setup, so we're going to go under File, go all the way down to Page Setup. Sometimes if you don't see Page Setup, there's a scroll bar here on the right that you'll need to go down a little further. So, Page Setup we will want custom and we're going to go with pixels instead of inches and here we're going to go with 1500 by 400 that's not exact but it'll give us a good idea of the size that we're working with so from here I know that I want to get an image I want to put an image in the background you don't have to do that but that's something I would like to do so I'm going to do a Google search for an open book and here I'm going to click Images and Search Tools because I want to go by usage rights. I want to make sure I have something that I'm allowed to use. So labeled for reuse and now it'll show me the options that I have that are legal. So I'm going to scroll down so for my open book I think I'll choose this one. Click View Image. I'm going to right click Save Image As Call it open book. It's going to go on my desktop. And now I'm going to go back to my Google Drawings. Clicked on the wrong one. So here we go. Here's where we need to be. From here I'm going to do insert image. You may have one in your Google Drive or your albums, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and upload one. So that open book that I just chose from here you can see it doesn't really fit so I'm going to take these little points on the corners I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to go ahead and drag I will only be able to use a portion of this image since it is square more square and what I need is more rectangular by holding down the shift key I can make sure the image stays in proportion and doesn't get distorted so once I've got the image the size I needed I'm going to do image options here I want transparency I want to see the image but I also want to be able to read the text that I'm going to put on top. So there's the transparency that I think I would like. And from here I can take the image and slide it around so that I get the placement the way that I want it so that you can see in the banner. So this rectangular area you see in the background is the space I'm working within. So that's about the area for that space in Google Classroom. Once I've got it the way I want it, I'm going to get the text tool Let's say I just want one big bold reminder up here across the top. Something pretty clear and strong that I want them to notice right away. You can change the color if you like. We can try putting it in red. I'm going to go down to possibly 30. And I don't know that I'll be able to have my text box this low. Remember there's the circle that has your picture, then it has the class name over here that always occupies the center of that header. So from here I'm going to go from up to file in the upper left, choose download as JPEG. So you can see now I've got it down here in my tray right here. So if I do this little arrow, I'm going to ask it to show it to me in the finder. So it's going to show the downloads that I have. This is what I want, the classroom header reminders. I'm going to drag that over onto my desktop just so I can have easy access. When I go back into my classroom and I want to upload a photo, I'm going to get it from my computer. Again, I put it on my desktop. That's reminders. And every time you change your announcement, you will have to import it this way. I'm going to try to get a little bit more of that book. 
but I do want to keep this fairly close to the top. It may take you a little while to get your spacing down. So we'll select class theme down here in the bottom left and you can see how it changes across the top. But it's big and it's bold and the students would see it as soon as they came into classroom. Another option which you saw whenever I clicked on this one on accident was that you can put your messages over to the side if you want to. If you've got a few, you know, you can't work with the center exactly, but you do have a little space on the left and a little space on the right. So I'm going to take this one, move it over just a little bit, because perhaps there's more than one thing I want to say or remind them about. So from here, I'm going to alter my format of my text just a little bit. because I've got one more thing I want to remind them. So this is in case I want to put some reminders over here on the left. I'm going to put the number two after reminder so I know the difference when I go to, to upload these. So again, we'll go to File up here on the upper left, Download as a JPEG. We see it coming down. I'm going to click that arrow again. I want to show it to me in Finder. And I'm going to drag it over to my desktop. I'll come back into my classroom. I'm going to upload a photo again. So I'm uploading a new one because I have different reminders for them. Here we go. Again, we're going to work with placement just a little bit. I'm probably going to leave a little more weight at the bottom. That seems to work out better when I'm trying to position these. Okay, we'll select class theme. And there you can see how the reminders look if they're over there on the left. And that really is all I wanted to show you today, just show you how you can use that as another way to communicate with your students. I hope you have a great day. Thank you.